very Merry Christmas or Hanukkah if you celebrate it. Uh, today I'm coming at you with obviously uh, what I got for Christmas video. I did this last year. I love doing it purely just because like I love looking back and seeing what I got and just sharing what I got with you. Like it's not as every YouTuber says, it's not like a bragging video, but they're really addictive to watch and see what other people have got. Um, for me, just like the best present this year was getting to spend um, my first Christmas with Darren. Because last year, even though we were together, we weren't together physically. Um, he was at his mum's. So um, yeah, it was really nice to spend our first Christmas together. Uh, so without further ado, I will jump in with what I've got. No particular order, just gonna grab things as I go along and hopefully I don't forget everything. It's not everything I've got, there are a few things that are like we're already using or spread out or like a joint gift for me and Darren. Um, for example, we got some new bedding from his nan. Um, my aunt gave him um, like an afternoon tea gift voucher uh, so we can go for afternoon tea sometime in the new year and also an Odeon gift card which is really good because we do like going to the cinema, but it can be really expensive. So things like that. And we've got money to help like that. We're just going to put straight in our savings to help fund for our wedding and to buy a house. So yeah, let's just jump right in. The first thing I want to mention, which I don't physically have here, but I'll insert the picture that I took of it. And I just want to mention it first before I forget, is a set of makeup brushes that my grandma and grandpa got for me. Uh, these are a set of the Real Techniques brushes, it's like their best ones, but you get about 10, 12 brushes I believe. And I've already started using them, um, I've been using the foundation brushes and the blush brushes, and it's actually made like putting on makeup really more exciting than usual for me. So I really, really I'm enjoying using those already and just playing around more with my makeup so I've really been enjoying those um, and I think you can probably get those from Boots or Superdrug I believe. Uh, so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing I want to talk about which is mainly my mum's present but sort of a present for me as well. Um, a present I got for her and I was so so excited to give it to her. I had ordered her a necklace like this one and it's got her name in it. But what's special about it is that it's written in my nan's handwriting. So my nan passed away a couple of years ago and um, we have her old photo albums. So I went through them because usually she was pretty good at writing things down of where and when it was. And she'd written Sarah and Sophie, Florida, 1999. Um, I'll insert that little picture here. And I was able to take a picture of that on my phone and sent it off to this company and they engrave it straight onto the necklace. Um, so I obviously insert the picture and you can definitely see that it is her handwriting. So she's obviously got her name, I've got my name, and it's just really special. Not only do we have matching necklaces now, um, but it's like we've always got my nan with me. So I was really pleased to give that to her and also it meant that I could start wearing mine as well. Uh, yeah, so let's move on to the actual things I can show you. The first thing, Darren got me this. This is a Disarano Wes Etro set. The Disarano have bought out these different like fancy bottles um, and yeah I got this gift set and it's got a little glass in it with some chocolates and I actually really like these like shorter more like the whiskey type glasses to actually just drink like my milk in the morning um, that way you don't have to pour a full glass because I never drink a full glass um, so yeah and he obviously got this after we'd been on holiday and I'd started to enjoy drinking amaretto so we got that the next thing I'll show you, because it's like boring to look at but really exciting for me, and I got two Kath Kidson gift vouchers, um, one from my mum and dad and one from Darren, so no doubt there'll be a Kath Kidson haul coming in the springtime because they have some pretty exciting things coming out I believe, so yeah, excited to be able to use those. The next thing is something that Darren's mum got me, and this is a Nivea gift set, which is really cute. I pretty much only use Nivea lip balm so I was really pleased to see this and in it you get the original care one you get the pearly shine um, you get the original in sort of the tin formula and then this one is um, the raspberry rose lip butter which I've not tried before so definitely something I'm gonna get use out of so I'm very pleased to get that 
And then she also got me this Ted Baker little set, which I was very excited to see. Whenever you get Ted Baker, it's always, it feels very luxurious. Um, and it's like this mirror and little perfume set. It's called the Ella set, I believe, which is coincidental because my cousin's called Ella. And you get this really beautiful, like compact, and then this little perfume, which is good, like a travel size perfume. Um, so yeah, really pleased to get that. The next thing my mum got me, when I say my mum, obviously, I mean my mum and dad, but you know, my mum gets most of it because she has the time to get it, which I think is pretty like uniform in most households. There's always one dominant parent that ends up getting most of the presents and then just writes from both of them on it, which I find quite funny. Um, I need a new Tangle teaser. I keep mine in the shower and it's got really gross and like starting to grow mold on it and stuff. Um, so I need a new one and this is really cute. This is actually one of the little travel ones that you can take with you. It's got the little case bit with it. So I could throw this in my bag if I wanted to. Um, but I probably will, like I said, keep it in the shower. But I really like the print on that. Yeah, next thing I got was from my aunt and like my cousins. And this is by Victoria's Secret and believe it or not, I've never had a Victoria's Secret perfume. And this is the infamous love spell, which I always hear about. And it smells really good. It does smell like going into Victoria's Secrets. And I never really actually smelled the Victoria's Secret perfumes either, so very excited to start wearing that. The next thing I got is from Dan, and I did put this on my wish list. It's this little Bradley little makeup bag. It's like that PVC material. And inside it's sort of wipeable as well, so I can use this as a makeup bag. Um, yeah, really excited to get this. And if you want to know, I mean, I already know the price because I saw it online. £29 but it's probably gone in the sale now so and it's got a really like nice chunky zip which I do like and I've started to prefer getting like oil cloth and like the PVC stuff from Radley because I find their leather as gorgeous as it is it does like rub away very easily I found in the past and the next two things are from Lush and again my parents got me these again I put on my wish list and I ask for sort of every year um snow fairy shower gel infamous and then also the so right bath bomb i won't open it because my mom go crazy she's already gone crazy that i've brought all this glitter out from the wrapping paper um yeah darren's mum the wrapping paper that she had so much glitter on it um so we've like hoovered at least three times in this room and can still see it everywhere um so yeah so i won't open this but you probably know what it is and these two have probably definitely gone in the sale now. Things again I got from my aunt and my cousins and I was really excited to get these. The first one, well they're both from Jack Wills which is really exciting anyway. Um, this little grey like fair old beanie hat. So so cute. I love grey and I don't have a grey ball hat. It actually sort of nearly matches our stockings up there. Um, which I got just before Christmas. But how cute is that? So yeah, really, really excited to get that. And then also I got the matching scarf, which is super thick. So on one side you've got this sort of crisscross like diamond. And then on the other side it's more white and you've got just these little sort of polka dots on it. And it's just so like thick and warm and like I'm in love with them. The next thing I got, um, it was sort of a joint present for me and Darren, but I thought I'd share it, um, was from his brother, and it's this Yankee candle set. I'll be really excited once we have our own place to put this out, um, not only at Christmas, but like at winter time. So you get four little tea lights, and it is this like Christmas tree tea light holder, really, really cute. Um, contains four Christmas cookie tea light candles. I can't smell them through the plastic, but I can imagine they smell really, really good. The next thing Darren's mum got us, and it is this really, really cute little salt and pepper penguins. Darren and I have a thing for penguins. That is like our spirit animals together, because um, they stay together for life. Um, as soppy as that sounds, yeah. Um, but I think that's really cute. Again, something could be really cute to put out when we get our own place, which hopefully 2017 is the year for that. The next thing, which Oscar has taken quite a fond liking to, is this scarf. Um, my aunt got me this, and it's by Jane McDonald, or not Jane McDonald, Julian McDonald. And it is this really, like, fabulous, like, pom-pom scarf, like, how like glamorous does that look and you can sort of like 
the two bits on the end are sort of apart so you can sort of tie them together to keep it together but like but yeah you can see why oscar's taking a liking to it because it's furry and it's a ball and that is essentially his favorite thing when it comes to a toy so yeah i've had to like hide this away from him we've literally had it stuffed in that stocking so he can't get to it so a slight tangent um something i actually bought for myself um this is the mac creme de nude shade sense perfume I managed to go into Bill's just before Christmas and they were sold out of this. I asked my dad who was in Cardiff, it was sold out. And I ended up getting this on House of Fraser and it is such an amazing scent. Right. It just lingers for ages. Um, it's based on the Creme de Nude lipstick, so it's all that sort of shade. And I've actually just bought myself the Velvet Teddy lipstick um, in the exclusive packaging again from House of Fraser. Um, it just smells quite vanilla if you like the warm vanilla sugar from bath and body works you'd probably like this it just smells so so good like just warm vanilla -y, like it's like an amber musk i believe and it just lingers it's so so nice but it is like the one that's sold out the quickest i don't know if they're gonna be restocking because obviously it's like a limited edition collection um and i don't know if that's something that they're gonna be bringing back but yeah i'm very pleased to start using this and i'm only gonna like wear it for like nights out and like exclusive events so i will show you some clothes that i got so obviously because i don't have a stocking this year end of an era i didn't didn't get my stocking because darren's here now um i got some vest tops and underwear but i won't show you that too quickly um and then my mum got me a set of pajamas she got me this which is just a vest top but then what's really cute she said they didn't have a matching top hence why she got the vest top is these um long like bird like really fleecy um pajama bottoms and these are actually from hollister yeah i was actually really surprised that these were from hollister um it wasn't until she was like oh look where they came from because it doesn't look like something hollister would usually do but yeah really cute anyway and then darren's mama got me this which i've actually been eyeing up in topshop for a while now um and it's this gray like cable knit like sort of thin jumper and then at the bottom it looks like there's a shirt coming out of it so it's like laying without having to actually layer things up which i love the easiness of that um so yeah she got me that which i'm very pleased about and then my mum got me this from um victoria's secret the pink section she knows i love these like this sort of style of varsity outfits um you know i've got a lot of those like long jerseys and my foot's gone to sleep oh. so she got me this one which is more of a t-shirt and it's in like that periwinkle blue color which i really really like so it's pretty simple on the front and then just has the pink on the back one thing that my dad actually did have some input in was he got me this he went to a vintage fair don't know when uh he's full of mysteries um and he got me this I think mainly because it's got this little like westy dog on it um but this has like it's like from the 1920s 30s 40s 50s some of that era um so this bit is like where you would put your lipstick in it does still have the actual lipstick in which is pretty gross really um and then you open up that's where like the mirror and the blotting pad is um and then on the back is where they would put their lips um their not lipsticks their cigarettes um, so obviously probably not something I'm actually going to use but it's pretty cute if you just sort of had it like set out and my dad also liked it because it sort of looks like a camera next thing I got is from Darren's brother and it's this Dove um, booster collection and it comes with two body washes and like a little loofah so it comes with the blue fig and orange blossom and the pomegranate and lemon verbena so then I got two nail polishes and these I put on my Christmas list um, they're both from OPI. The first one is called I Believe in Manicures and it's this sort of like Tiffany blue colour. This one which is really pretty and I'm probably going to put it on my nails next. It's called Rich and Brazilian and it's sort of this purpley, glittery, brown colour. Um, but yeah, it is just like a really nice mauve sort of wintry colour. Next, I will move on to jewellery because I did get quite a few pieces aside from the bit that I purchased myself as well. Um, this one is from Darren. It's by the brand Love Libby, I believe on Not On High Street because I put it on my list. And it is this really cute penguin necklace and it's got two little penguins on it. And then under the disc it says... Oh says you are my penguin if it will focus 
so yeah really cute um so i'm definitely gonna wear that soon uh the next thing is from a brand called amara amara i'm not quite sure huge box for very tiny little earrings um i did ask for some um pearl earrings because that's just what i usually wear and these are just silver stemmed with white pearl earrings which i will probably be wearing a lot the next thing again is something i sort of hinted towards and this is by the brand hurley burley on not on the high street i believe and it is this little card holder so my mum obviously chose the bright pink one um and it's like a leather card holder so you've got the two little bits either side and a little zip pocket in the middle and then you've got like a keyring and you can personalize it so she obviously put my name on it so yeah i'll probably definitely be changing into this um because i like to just have small purses i'm not a big purse fan at the moment and then we sort of get on to ex like probably the most exciting um so my mum got me this again i hinted to it um and it's this penguin mug it's got two little penguins on the front and then on the back it's got our names on it which is really really cute again something i will definitely be using when we one day move out so I'll keep that for that. And next thing I got, which is probably one of my main presents from my mum and dad, is the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder by Hourglass. This is in the shade Incandescent. So I already have the Ambient Lighting Powder uh, that I use every day. The name of it escapes me. Um, but this is just gorgeous. And then this is what the colour looks like. It's just a really pale light pink color like the camera is so not doing it justice it is just the most incredible like shimmery pink color and i think it'd be really nice as like a highlight maybe even a blush because i'm just that pale we shall see um i'll have to definitely sort of work out how i want to be using that so yeah very excited to start using that and then we come down to sort of probably my main two presents um, the first one is probably something you've maybe already seen me wear and that is I got my new Fitbit this is the Fitbit Charge 2 um, Darren got me this uh, I got my well my dad but you know I helped aid him to get my mum the Fitbit Ultra which is like the skinnier new version um, we've both actually just ordered different straps um, I've ordered like a lilac -y strap and she has ordered one that has this like buckle on it because the ones that they supply with are really really hard to actually put on yourself and like my mum's getting in a tears so and I was like just order a new band because you, now you can just change them and I really like the fact now that they show you the time and date as well as the steps instantly um so yeah I'm really pleased about that and they show you not only when someone's calling now but also text messages which is a great feature so yeah this is the Fitbit Charge 2 it also does like heart rate steps floors climbed it does your um it tracks your sleep yeah a few of those features are probably not going to use it but it's going to help aid me to get more motivated um now because obviously in january from january it's going to be like wedding diet wedding exercise um just get a bit more fit and toned for the big day the final thing I want to show you is something I hinted to towards when we were on holiday. I sent it to my mum this link, but I didn't actually think she would get it because um, I'd already like given her my ideas for Christmas. And that is the complete series of The Lucy Show. So obviously I have I Love Lucy, the whole box set, and I have Is Lucy. I have all of those DVDs, but I only have like a couple of The Lucy Show. Um, so this literally has every one that they did and then it's also got like extra special features and stuff so it's probably gonna take me quite a while to get through because i don't tend to have a lot of time anymore to watch tv and things like that but really excited like especially next time i'm ill this is all i'm gonna be watching um so yeah very excited to get that and i believe it's from amazon so that is all i've got to show you today i'm so like thankful for everything I've got um it's definitely been one of the best Christmases this year just purely because I got to spend it with Darren 
um, and we've just had a lovely time. We've had four days of work, both of us, which has been really nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas or a very Happy Hanukkah. Um, I am half Jewish, so um, we don't tend to celebrate it, but we recognise it. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a very lovely holiday season and I will see you in the new year. Bye guys. And be sure to stay tuned for the rest of my Mexico vlogs because in the mists of winter, it's nice to be transported to a nice place of warmth. So yeah, I hope you enjoy those as well and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.